2013 C250. We're gonna replace the intake manifold uh, due to this hose here breaking. So the bad thing about Mercedes is they make you replace the whole thing just to replace that one too. So what we'll start off by doing is removing these two T25 screws. Just gives a little slack down here. Uh, however, we'll probably remove that last. We'll loosen these up first. This here with number eight, one down there, somewhere down there. And just pull it out, just give it more slack and uh, leeway. You'll be able to move it out. Uh, this clip here actually comes out. You just lift up this part to pull it out and just move it up a little. So you just pull that out. Unclip the sensor. Press this down, pull that out, and then we'll be removing those clamps just to get this free so that we can uh, remove this. Looks like it's pretty stuck in there. So just make my life a little easier. I'm gonna move this well over. It's just three uh, E10 bolts holding it. One there, one here, and one down here, next to here. Uh, I'm just gonna move it, push it over to the side. And when doing so, I can actually remove this E10 bolt here to push this over a little more, give us a little free space and just slide it out from the intake, house, uh, intake manifold. So we'll go ahead and do that. So after removing the bolt holding this, how this well together, push it over, unscrew this bolt, pull it out a little bit, and it just slides right up. And now we can manipulate this a little more, give us a little more space to work with. So because I moved this well over, you can see where it meets down there. So what I'm gonna do, since it's kind of stuck on there, I'm just gonna get this flat head and just kind of help pry it out a little bit. Just give it some space to pull it out. And then from there we'll replace it. It's easier to move this side first so we have room to work with. The flat head as well on that end, we'll be able to get it out. So I'm just gonna remove this wire harness here, this wire connected here. Just pull this tab back and pull out. And then we'll replace it. All right, once you have the intake manifold back in and the um, sensor plugged back in down there, there's one back down there as you saw earlier, this one here. I'm oh, sorry, this one here. Uh, go ahead and plug everything else back in. That one there. This hose here. And then um, this clip here. You actually just gotta push it over um, and s attach it so I get a good view. So that clip actually goes over that notch there. That's how it attaches. Plug this back in. Plug this hose back on so once all that's done put that in the bracket there sorry I forgot to focus put this hose back in throw it back in the bracket and put the reservoir back together with the three bolts however I will be doing something else right after this so I'm not gonna go ahead and reattach that but that's how you put your intake manifold in all right, so for the intake manifold, when you put this tube in, go ahead and push it all the way in. All the way down. And then you wanna push this, this little notch right down here. That's where the bolt will be going in. And then from there, you will reattach T25 screws into the valve cover. Don't want to take a minute for it.